All right, so it's just before Thanksgiving. It's like 10 days before Thanksgiving, and I went around the yard and rounded up all the uh, squash I had out as decoration, you know, here and there by the front door and in the front yard and stuff. So these are the last of the squash that I need to get seed from. Um, very fun thing to do. I love to do this at the end of the year and kind of just see all the different kinds that I grew, many of which I can't name for you off the top of my head. I know these are Hubbard. Um, <laughs> those are De La Cotta. Uh, this one begins with a K, but I couldn't tell. Could, could, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll look them all up. That's just a jack-o'-lantern. And Patty Pan. And I don't know what those are, but they're good eating. They're all really sweet. These are more for pie. Um, I can't remember what these are called, even if they're good for eating, but they're so pretty, aren't they? This one, I think, is almost like a, it might be a cross between that one and maybe one of these or one of these, but I'll save the seeds and mark them. They're all heritage, open-pollinated, heirloom-type varieties, so that means that they can cross. They were planted near each other, but I bagged some of the pumpkins, like this one I bagged uh, the flower and then I bagged the um, fruit itself while it was growing. I'm almost wondering if that's why it got damaged a little bit there. I mean, it's not round, right? But... Um, so I know most of these at least will be fine. So we'll give it a shot anyway. And let's see what's the other thing I wanted to point out to you. You probably have one of these kits around. They're the old um, carving a pumpkin kit that you give to your kids. And especially this double-sided knife. They work really well. Pumpkins are slippery. They move around and uh, that makes it a lot easier to carve up and harvest the seeds so anyway I'm gonna get to it got a good book on tape I'm gonna listen to it while whilst I carve away so So remember, when you save your seeds, to save the nice big fat ones, not these skinny little mini flat ones. You see the difference? This one has a tiny little um, seed in there that's never going to grow satisfactorily, but the nice big fat ones, they're rounded on both sides. That's what you want to save. I mean, if you save these, that's okay. Next year, you'll definitely be able to tell the difference between the two. So when, when in doubt, go ahead and save them. But uh, next year before you plant, you'll go through and pick them all out. All of these are flat ones. So what I'm going to do is I'll just take this. Um, because it's this kind of a pumpkin, I'm going to put it out for the squirrels. The other pumpkins, like the um, Hubbards and stuff, I'll take this inside and cook it, eat it, or preserve it. But yeah, that's how you do pumpkin, and that's what I do with the uh, extras. If they're edible, we eat them, and if they're not, then we put them out for the animals. So anyway, that's how to do it. I better get back to it. Thanks for watching.